What do you think should be done to the January 6th people? Leave them alone. Let them have the, oh, the ones that are in prison right now? Yeah, the ones that are in prison and the ones that are, are under indictment. <laughs> For, I think we should compare the January 6th people to all the Antifa people that burned down cities that got nothing. I think we should remember the standard and see the despair of the two. January 6th people are being held without any, any real crimes. And they're in a prison. They've been in a prison for two years. BLM literally burned down cities and nobody went to jail. I think first of all the American people don't know what happened at January 6 because the media is so such a lying bunch they are presenting total false narratives. So people don't know what happened at January 6. So if they knew truly what happened at January 6 they might have a different opinion. Did you support a bipartisan committee to look into January 6th? No. But, but, but I don't think anybody should be looking into people celebrating and standing up for their First Amendment. No, I just meant the, what people allege to be a breach of the Capitol. That, you, know, you, you just said we don't know what happened on January 6th. The committee, they tried to do a committee to look into what happened. They did, but it wasn't as bipartisan as people wanted. I don't want. think they looked into what the breach of police stations, county buildings, with BLM. There was no committee for that. No, I'm talking about January 6th, though. I know. And I'm saying it's a double standard. And when we get rid of the two-tier justice system, then there will be a, an ability to have justice. But right now, the January 6th is isolated and weaponized to divide us. MAGA constantly wants to talk about the two-tier justice system in this country. But if you go deeper, it, there's nothing behind it. They only want to frame themselves as the victim. That's it. That, that's all it ever is, if you go anywhere deeper into it at all. It's just defund the FBI and back the blue at the same time. I love it. If Trump wins, would you accept that result? Yeah. But you wouldn't accept the Biden result? No, no, no. Uh, could it be rigged is what I'm saying in favor of Trump? It could be. But, but, but that's a real stretch because uh, Trump and the Republicans have never had the on-the-ground machinery that the Democrats have had for 100 years. You can't recreate that in two or three years. But he won in 2016. He did. Right. And so if the, all that machinery is so great, what happened to it in four years? Right. They weren't ready. They didn't believe he, you know, they just weren't ready. And do you think the, it was a stolen election in 2016? I'm out of my mind. I watched it myself with my own eyes. On, at 3 o'clock in the morning on TV. What did you see? I saw the, all the ladies in Georgia pull all those ballots out, and I watched her run the same ones over and over. And I, I watched it with my own eyes. I don't need anyone to tell me it was stolen. I the, watched it. The, the, the government, in, the state government in Georgia, said that that was totally innocent, and that was... They did. Well, they were, it's a Republican government there. So I'm just curious... No, 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 it's a right would, Republican government. What would you have to hear to make you believe that that was just an innocent, you know, and that's... I watched it with my own eyes. Nothing. There's nothing that can make me believe that that wasn't stolen. And they're, they're arresting people uh, individually for all of this. I mean, the Pennsylvania... Trump just said it. They found in Pennsylvania that everything we said was right. They're... They're just not showing it all at one time to show how much fraud there really was. I don't know if you've seen 2,000 Mules, but that shows exactly how they did it. I knew they did it. 2,000 Mules showed me how they did it. Trump won't lose. Well, he lost once. He could lose again. What, what if it happens again? I think it's impossible for him to lose again. You can't rig another election like they did the last one. Public won't stand it. So you think the last one was rigged? Yeah. In what way? Well, the Absentee voting, voting machines, you know, all kinds of gimmicks. Look, I'm, I grew up in New York. I know how the Democrats and the unions work in the big city, how they maneuver the votes. And, and you just have to read what um, Biden said. Get that clip. He said, we have the best voting machine ever put together. Ill illegal voting machine ever put together. And he was right. It, but it, in all of the court cases and all the examinations that went on, it seemed like there was a uh, that that the election went off at least legally quite well. 
Uh, I disagree with you. The judges tossed them out, oh, looked the other way. If you go back and look at Arizona, look at Pennsylvania, look at Wisconsin, look at Georgia. I did. I was in all those states covering it. That's why. I, there was a lot of, a lot of bad shit going on. Debate is healthy and debate is fine. Debating people that disagree with you, totally fine. However, debate and dialogue has eroded in this country because a debate is supposed to be about the future about what's going to happen. Right now, we're debating about what did happen. Everything in the past that's very well documented is just up for grabs and up for wild interpretations, just fantastical interpretations. And that is why we cannot have a proper dialogue on most issues when someone has this extreme belief of COVID never happened, January 6th was Antifa, the election was stolen. And even with Republican, I've, I've heard this so many times when I speak to people on the road, the, the Republicans that say, you know, listen, the election was not stolen. According to them, well, those are rhinos. I've even heard some extremists go as far as to say that the Republican and the Democratic Party conspired to steal the election for the Democrats, which, I mean, makes no sense if you think about how the Democrats rolled in with a, basically a 50-50 majority uh, in the House and Senate and giving you know, majority power to Kristen Sinema and Joe Manchin. That starts to fall apart very quickly.